So this is a TSC TTP247 number plate printer. It's uh, used or supplied by many number plate component suppliers and they tend to want you to buy components at their price um, if you continue using their software. So here at PPP we've come up with our own setup. So we have our printer and this is what we call our print server. It's uh, basically a computer. It connects to the internet, power, USB cable that goes to the printer. Printer is pretty straightforward. Thermal ribbon and a feed tray that, that comes in there. And you feed from the back. Material comes in and it comes to this roller. Now one of the problems with these printers is when you feed the material in, let's just put this down, and you push it against the rubber roller, when you send the file to it, sometimes it just doesn't pick the material up. So we've made a slight ad ad adaption where you press, so you basically put a little bit of pressure on the material so you're pushing against the rubber and then you press this now that should have just pulled it in but it didn't and I can feel it's still loose so what you've got to do is you've got to keep it there and there I could feel it pull in and now when I pull back it's in the rubber it's in the roller ready to print now this box is basically connected to the internet and using our online software the online software talks to this box and feeds the, print, the, the number plate files to the printer and prints them. Let's take a look at that. So, having switched on the server, the, the print server, the RIP as we call it, um, you leave it for a minute or two and then you log into the online software here at PPP and when you click on menu you should see print server so when we click on the print server basically the online software is now talking to the print server in your office or that's just on the bench over there the next thing you do is you manage your printers and when you click manage printers the print server is looking on its network and on its USB ports to see what printers are there. And it's found us our TTP247 connected on the USB. And so what we'll do is we'll click install and that will go away and it will set up that printer um, as appropriate. But let's also install our Oki C650 because these are our different styles of printer. And again, that one's a network printer and we've now got our printers installed the TTP 247 and the Oki C650 we can close that window and we can go back to the software and now what we do is we click on number plates okay so first thing we do is decide on our media acetate we would normally print a film it prints in reverse and that goes through a laser printer Reflective, we're printing onto dry reflective, and so we need to print the image positively, and so we'll choose that for this. Enter a reg, preview, and now we're offered our printers, and I simply click this button here, and this file will be sent through the print server to the printer. So let's take a look at how that works. And here comes our print. How, how good is that? That's such a nice print. And then obviously you lay that down onto a piece of acrylic. So as I say, our online software goes through this box to the printer. The key features we have is our 
or feed button which makes sure the material goes in and how easy it is to use the software. You can either use the online software or you can buy the box with the software installed. There's obviously a, a price difference and the online version is by far the most flexible. Hope it's been of help. Thank you for your time.